The two Giovanni fights are kind of a joke now thanks to the 70% wall rain. I'd say Geo 3 is the biggest menace out of them all. If you haven't seen my video on Erica, basically I take the fire starter eggs from the shard NPC and I hatch lots of them until I've gotten the ape, Incineroar, Delphox, and Cinderace. I prefer to hatch starters in Route 7, Route 8, Route 9, Lavender Town and Rocket Hideout. Before fighting Geo, I make sure that I got the hidden abilities on Illumise, Walrein, and Cinderace. So for Giovanni's Sylph Company, I lead with Cloud9 Golduck. I flip turn to Gyarados Intimidate and I go back to the duck for the OKO. Since I can OKO Mamoswine, the AI will always go for the priority move. AI switches in Dracovish and since I have Colber Berry, the AI will always go for Dragon Claw instead. So I flip turn to Illumise for immunity and Encore. After being encored, the AI will want to switch and Gyarados got a switch in score of plus 10 for having an OKO, revenge kill with Moxie and resisting all our moves. If you want to know more, I go into further detail in my AI switch mechanics video. I intentionally put moves that can't OKO Gyarados as it seems like the AI tends to set up whenever your moves don't OKO, feel free to try it yourself. I go to Cinderace for Sucker Punch but Sandstorm carried. Also, I never go to Illumise for Encore here as the AI knows that Z moves can bypass Encore. AI goes for Dracovish again and I just pull out the Chad Walrein to spam Scald and rest. Ficious Rend is actually 8pp only so I just stall it out. If you didn't know, rest sleep is always fixed 2 turns. If you don't believe me then feel free to play safe and rest earlier. Regirock is quite free as it only set up against the fur coat wall rain. Same for Excadrill, this will just set up. I 
I go for ice beam here in case it switches and either way I always 2 hit KO the mole mon. Let's rewind a bit now and talk about the trainers before Geo. So for Sylph Company Rival, I lead with Libero Cinderace. I U-turn to switch in Jellicent for immunity. I put Wake and Berry on the Jellyfish so that the AI would never see OKO with Electivire. This should only set up as I don't have an OKO OK move on Celesteela so I go to Illumise for Encore. I then click on U-Turn, the AI surprisingly stayed in Celesteela so I go to Lantern to Volt Switch and see what the AI does. Jumpluff comes out so I switch in my Cloister for the free OKO. OK I put Rindo Berry on Cloister so that the AI would never see the OKO with Celesteela Giga Drain. Next I switch in my Delphox for some resistances. Since I can OKO, the AI will spam priority moves. I take advantage of this by wishing and will O Wisping which is always 100% accurate if used by fire types. AI ended up switching to Celesteela so I go to Illumise for Encore once again. Darmanitan comes out so I go to Cinderace for Fachati OKO. Then the AI switches in Electivire so I go to Illumise for some more resistances and Encore. This fight is pretty much over. I ran back every fight several times and it's always a guaranteed win. Lastly for Ariana and Archer, I lead with Jellicent. We pretty much get free OKOs thanks to Water Spout and do make sure to learn Energy Ball so that Primarina comes out later. Once Primarina and Aegi is out, I switch an Incineroar holding Paso Berry.
Even without the paralysis, I outspeed as the AI mons are a bit underleveled. I didn't even get to use Atsumero but yes it's quite a decent counter with the resistances and it can also dodge the 20% flinch chance thanks to Aqua Jet. If you made it this far in the video, you are the GOAT. And feel free to pass by my website where you can see all my team's natures, items, etc. Hope that I was able to help you, thanks for watching and have a good day.